Hey everybody, it is Amanda and I am back. I know I have not been around for a while, so give me some time. Let me um, go ahead and copy this, <sighs> share this. Um, but today we are going to go over how to extend your bra without bra extenders. Um, if you've ever gotten a bra that you um, that you purchased without trying on because it was your size or you've ever gotten a gift from, um, family or friend and, um, unfortunately the bra did not match, uh, match your body type, um, or anything like that. I'm going to show you a quick, easy way to fix this issue. Um, What's just last night, match? um, I actually I had lost some weight and so everybody knows that when you are uh, a female um, your weight can be an issue when you lose it and you lose it in your uh, breast area first which is a sucky situation if I might add um, so technically um, I had to go in and quickly and painfully cut my bra because I don't have very many and it's just an easy way to fix it and work with it. So uh, Maya's here and I'm not going to actually show that bra on camera. I have it put up over here. Um, the only reason I'm not going to show it is because I'm still working on it, fixing some of like keeping it from being really pointy on the top. But after cutting into it, I mean, who cares? I'm engaged. But um, anyway, so I'm going to show you guys a quick, easy way to extend your bra um now i had purchased a bunch of these um and they were all the same size they one fit me and the other three did not so i've done this with actually another one of my bras which is put up in a drawer right now but the things you're going to need is scissors um some sort of elastic whether it is black white if you're dyeing your elastic you're gonna need pins and needles, which is really funny. Um, you're also, this is optional, um, but a threader, which makes the life so much easier, and um, a matching thread. Now, I have a green bra, and this is the only green I have. Whoopsie daisy. But I also have a couple of other options here, black or, um, blue, but we are going to go ahead and I'm going to use the green because it is going to be in the back. So first things first, I'm going to take and pull enough thread off to where I can thread my needle. I'll show you how to use a threader. I'm with my dad in the hospital. Yes, Maya, talk to me about that. I know I haven't talked to you today. I've been extremely busy today. Um, I've had people blowing me up wanting stuff for free and I haven't even worked today. So how is your father? As I pull my needle out and I'll just show you guys. So in case you guys don't know what a threader is, it is where you take this little metal piece. It's right here. It's very hard to see. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's a little metal piece and you stick it through the hole or the opening at the needle. I can't see it because it's very dark in here because I have my background up. Come on. There we go. Now, as you can see, my needle is just hanging there. Then you take the end of the thread and put through the open end of the, the wire. You're going to pull it through just a little bit to ensure that the needle does not come out. And then you're going to pull this through. That threads your needle. So that's how we use a needle. I like to cut off quite a bit of thread just so I don't have to re-thread it. So I'm going to cut this pretty darn close. Um, I am doing this by hand. You can do it with a sewing machine. I don't have a sewing machine. Um, so I have to do everything by hand. And some people tie knots differently. It is all in a manner of how you want to do it. Some people tie knots separately and then together, or like me, 
with two pieces of thread together, wrapping them around my finger and doing about two or three different knots. And it always is gonna hit in the same place if you're careful. Pay attention to how much thread you're pulling through. And now we are threaded, it says the foil thingy. They took x-rays of his foot, I see. I'm, I'm working too, Maya. Okay, so now that we have this here, depending on how much length you need to add to the bra, and remember this is elastic. So I usually cut about right here in this area. <clears throat> I like a loose fitting bra to where it doesn't bug me or rub against me. That's a proper fit. And you're going to need, depending on the band width, two to three pieces. And then once you've cut those evenly, you're going to come over here on the back of your bra and where the hooks are. And you could save these because there's always something you can use these for. And we're going to cut right along where these are. Just like that. Then we're going to take, and this is the fun part, we're going to put the elastic behind the band, and then we're going to pin it in place, being sure to not stab yourself. I did that last night. It was very painful. I didn't mean to. I got spooked because, well, I get spooked pretty easily. And then we're going to line this up here. At the same time, same place, same length, same location, right along the bottom here. Making sure that it's as even as possible before we even begin to do anything else. What else did she say? The foil thingy. Yes, I, I got the foil thingy. So they took x-rays of his foot. And then, of course, you're going to pin this in place. Going through the top. Ooh, I just almost got my finger. That could have been bad. As this has moved on me, I'm going to pin this again, going to the top. I finished all the Gilmore Girl series. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like on this side with it pinned up. Just like so. Let me untwist that. So now you have your extension here. Um, and this is what it looks like on the back side here. And so we're going to come to the other side. Now where these, I think these are called eye hooks. You're going to cut right here where this seam is. So you see where the seam is here? You're going to cut right along the side of that seam. Save these pieces because I'm sure I'm working on a project that reuses raw pieces. So... With that being said, you can bring this now right over here and do the same thing with the pinning, only two. How do you feel now finishing? Hold on, what now? Let me see, hold on. I feel bored. I've been watching it for a week straight, I finished the entire series and even finished the year in the life of the Gilmore Girls or something. Um, it was pretty interesting. Luke and Lorelai finally married and Rory is pregnant and I can only assume it is by Logan, whom she was never really with with. He's engaged to another woman. They broke up. It, it's, it, I'm telling you, I want more. I'm addicted. I know I came across it when it was on TV and, you know. So this is what it's going to look like here. Um, I don't really want to pull too hard because of the pins, but as you see, it definitely stretches a lot more. It's a lot more um, stretchy than a bra extender and they don't usually sell bra extenders with three hooks so this goes pretty well and it's going to move with you and it's going to slide around um one of these does not have a underwire which i'm going to fix that as well probably not in the same thing so now i'm going to grab my thread what rows i'll get that in a second 
I'm going to turn the bra around where the back is facing to me and I can kind of see what I'm doing. Actually, I can do this a lot better this way. So I'm, I always go under to hide the stitching and we're just going to start sewing this in with a basic under over stitch, which is a straight stitch. I try to get it out as tight as I possibly can, as in the stitches close as I can. Um, what doing that, I have found that it just really stays better together. Um, everyone has different ways of finishing and tying off a stitch. Mine is um, pretty simple. As you get about three stitches, four stitches in, you can remove your pin because it's now no longer needed to be holding it into place. It is already in place. You can use a thimble. I don't use a thimble because one, my nails are long, two, I have fat fingers, and well, you know, it's just not very comfortable. Oh, I got somebody calling me for work. I got to work, right? Let's see. So I guess I will be pretty much rocking back and forth here. Trying to make sure that, you know, I can deal with everything. So work. Keeps me at peace. I need to. I've been a little witch to people today. Didn't mean to, but you know. Okay, this is really messing things up here. Um, well, thank you. How may I help you? I am in demand this Thursday. I logged on not expecting anyone to want to talk to me right away earlier today. And so I thought, hey, I can clean. Yeah, that didn't happen. Okay. All right, give me one second here. Something happened this morning which makes me insecure. All the love questions really mess with my head. I wonder if that happens to any other reader. Like, if they end up picking up that energy and then putting it toward their relationship, not realizing it, and then you start worrying. I mean, that just is the worst thing ever. So let me take a moment. Let me know if you want to know details about that. Okay, yes, you can help me check out my love life and the person I'm with. Bum, bum. Okay. Some people I'm just not meant to read.
Okay, well, that I was not able to connect with, so, oh well. We will end this. I'll go back to my chit chat with Amaya here, if she's even still here. She got a call, she says. Yes, okay. Anyways, our cat is in the hallway pawing on my door. That is the most annoying thing ever. It's hard to hold this whenever you're trying not to stab yourself. Just saying, just saying. But anyway, you do a nice little stitch here. This is gonna take this 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 live is gonna be a little while if I get a lot of calls coming in. But you know, it happens when you're at work, right? Dang it. I don't like this particular thread. It seems to be very, um, seems to be an issue with it. The white one I used yesterday was not nearly this bad. Like, this is kind of like, um, hello, I don't understand. Here is my knot, but yet... It's not being pulled through, which is not a good sign because I've had to do this twice now. Okay, we're going to rethread this, see what we can come up with here on why it is doing this. This sucks. Okay, so we're going to go back into this. I'm going to watch why it's doing this. I don't, I am, for the life of me, I cannot figure out what is causing it to be so stubborn. Because it looks so nice and neat on the other side. Ha ha ha. That's what's happening. It's gonna be old tame. Okay, so I always end my sewing underneath. So the way I tie my knots to close this off is to leave a little extra thread here. Not that much, just a little extra. And then we're gonna go back through. And we're going to go through the hole once, pull a little more, go through twice and pull it all the way. And that's gonna be my knots. My knot knot. And there is that one. Okay. So now we're going to go do another knot here. And basically, we're just going to go through there and do both sides the same way. 
both top and bottom. And you have a awesome raw stitch. And this takes a little while uh, because of all the cutting that it's required and threading and precision. We're going to cut right there. I wished I had one of the other bras that I've done. Um, could have sworn it was over here, but I may have possibly have moved it. But anyway, so when you're done, it's going to look like this. So you basically are going to put it over your head, pull it down, and you're good to go. I will be fixing this with a wire later. So that's about it. So I'm going to finish this up, and this is how you make an extension or even, you know, if you have a low back um, top or dress, you can wear a bra like this to give it a little dimension to make it look more like a uh, fancy bra. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm going to go finish sewing. Thanks, guys.